It's 7.30, Sunday morning. Y'all are probably still sleeping. And what am I doing? Barbecue. All right, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today, we got a couple of pork shoulder roasts on the barbecue. We're smoking them today. We are trying to make some pulled pork. Pulled pork. Sunday pork. What did that sound right? Pulled pork. All right, so you guys have seen me cook a pork shoulder before. I got the temp just a little bit high right now, about uh, 350. I want to get that down to around 225. All I did to the shoulder was I coated it in a thin layer of oil, black pepper, and Stubbs, and Stubbs barbecue rub. That is it. Obviously, I got my drip pan. I'm going to use this to marinate this. So one thing I really like about the char griller is I can lower the heat and raise the heat as I need it. So I am guessing this is going to be on the barbecue for the better part of the day. So last week I was in a pinch. I needed some charcoal. Well, I needed some I needed some lump charcoal for the barbecue and couldn't find any anywhere. I ended up with some briquettes. <laughs> yeah, don't ever use briquettes. They're nothing but a pain. I've been using the cowboy chunks. though That works really well. Really well. Couldn't find it either. So I ended up with this lump charcoal. It's not too bad. I don't think it's as good as cowboy, but I haven't really given it a fair shot, but that's what we're using today. All right, so I took these pork shoulders out last night uh, out of the freezer, hoping they would be thawed by the morning, but they're not exactly completely thawed out. Ain't got time to wait for that. Anyway, I got them all marinated up and put on, but I just put the probes in. Look at the internal temp on this roast. A beautiful 27 degrees. Something tells me we're going to be a while. All right, so another thing I'm going to add here, I've got some apple wood chips in there. A while ago, actually back in Father's Day, Jen bought me an electric smoker made by Bradley. Problem was it wasn't going to be big enough, but she did buy two packages of pucks, which I didn't return. I did return the smoker, kept the pucks. So right now we got some hickory pucks on there. And you can just throw them in the fire just like any other wood chip. Like, then they'll burn the smoke like normal. So that's what we got going on today. Apple wood chips and hickory pucks. Hickory pucks. All right, it's time to check and see how the shoulder's doing. Okay, so we are now sitting at, hopefully you can see that, 88 degrees. It's coming up to the far cry from 27. Let's see how it's looking. That is looking delicious. Okay, so this is actually two pieces. It's gonna split down the middle here as we go. All the drippings are being caught into this pan. I'm gonna collect that and inject it right back into the meat. Right now, I know the temperature says 200. It's sitting just below 300. The only reason it's at 200 is because I just opened the lid. All right, so I was just informed there will be no, sorry about the sun, there'll be no meat injection. Somebody ate mine, diesel. I'm gonna improvise. It ain't the best. But it'll work. All right, we are sitting at a internal temp of 113. Coming along very nice. Let's have a look. Oh, and look at all those drippings. And all those drippings are going to go right back into the meat. Mm, I can hardly wait. Can you smell that? Can you taste it? I can't taste it. I haven't had it. All right, so I took the pork shoulders off the barbecue at about 168, wrapped them in tin foil, just set them in the oven, let them come up on their own from there, and the oven was, the oven was not turned on. And this is what we got. Ended up with two trays of shredded meat. Now one tray of meat, I'm gonna use the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. The other one, we're not gonna put anything on it, and people can just put whatever they want, whether it's different barbecue sauce or hot sauce or whatever. Also, my lovely wife, Jen. Give me a hey. Hey. <laughs> is making homemade baked beans. Fogging up my lens. Homemade baked beans. So when the beans are done, I'm going to throw the pork back into the oven just for a little bit, just to warm it up. And we're about to eat. 
All right, well, it's time to try the pulled pork on this side. We've got the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce on this side, nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna put some Frank's Red Hot on that because, all right, we put Frank's Red Hot on everything. Let me get my plate set up. I'll show you what we're doing here. All right, so I've got a bun and I got a wrap. We're going to go half and half on each one. What are you waiting for? Something to hit the floor? Alright, so Jen's over there making some marinara sauce. The tomato marinara. sauce. Sorry? Tomato sauce. She's over there making some tomato sauce. She also made some hot sauce because we have peppers, hot peppers growing in the backyard. She just informed me I'm not allowed to use Frank's. Got to use our own hot sauce. All right, so this is our own hot sauce. Jen made this just the other day. And it'll make your hair stand up. So I'm going to put that on, on the half that has no sauce at all. See how we make out. All right, here's what we're looking at. We got the bun and we got the wrap. I got a mix of the Jack Daniels with our own hot sauce on both. What are you waiting for? Something to hit the floor? Both of you, you guys are like the dynamic duo. All right, now the bun. Mmm. That's good. I think the bun is better than the wrap. Excuse me while I finish my dinner. All right, so as usual with the barbecue videos, I get a little tied up with the eating. Clearly, and I forget to do an outro. So yes, I'm in my shed trying to record an outro because it's now dark outside as you can see right there. But pulled pork, it's not hard, but the key is to keep it moist so that it's not dried out when you're done. 170 degrees. It was delicious, and as you can see by the amount of pulled pork I had, I got some pulled pork sandwiches for at least the next four days. All right, so that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. You may or may not have noticed, I'm sure you noticed you've been here a long time, that some of the content has changed. There's a reason for that. I still love hunting. I still love fishing. I'm still going to do all that. However, the tubes has decided to negate the outdoor channels. That's right, anything to do with hunting, they don't want no part of. Uh, I personally, my channel has not been affected by that, but uh, some of the other bigger channels have. So we're all just kind of playing this by ear and see how it goes. But until then, we're just going to keep on trucking. Let's keep on trucking. You never know. Anyway, that's it. And as always, don't forget to get outside and enjoy the outdoors.